guys, it's Jules from Crocoblock. Welcome to today's video. We are going to discuss the Jet pop-up plugin and how to build a dynamic pop-up with the option pages. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a catchy and handy pop-up with a dynamic option just in a few minutes. As a result, you've got a much more convenient and attractive website with so many options for your visitors. Let the creation of the pop-up begin. While we will be working with a pop-up from the backend, open dashboard. For the dynamic settings, proceed to the Jet Engine plugin. I will show you how to create the option pages. This function allows you to pull any data you need for your pop-up. Click Options Pages, Add New, type in the name of the page. You don't need to change anything else here. Then click New Field. Think over what kind of info you need to locate on your pop-up. In my case, that would be tour name. The only thing I need to change here is the meta field label. The next is tour price. Fill in just the label info. Then add new field. Tour date. Type in the name. Choose the date for the field type. Once you are done, click Add Page. You see, here is the Hot Tour option page. Click on it. Fill in the content for this page. This information would be pulled out to your pop-up. Click Save to apply the changes. Cool, let's create a pop-up. Open the Jet Pop-up plugin. You can add new pop-up and create the custom one, or you can enjoy the variability of the Jet Pop-up presets library. I chose the lovely discount pop-up for my needs from the library. Click Add, then choose Yes. OK, let's edit the pop-up in Elementor. Firstly, let's add all the needed dynamic info to this pop-up. Find the dynamic field widget, drag and drop it to the pop-up. Choose Options as a source. Choose the option tour name you have previously added from the backend. Then, you can find, drag and drop the widget again, or you can easily duplicate this field. You have options as a source, option to a price. For the price, you may add the icon of the currency in the field icon. Then, options as a source, option to or date. Toggle filter field output to yes and choose in the callback format date. Alrighty! Click Publish if you want to save the changes right now. Play with the design to make it stylish. Cool, that look we need for our website. Click Jet Pop-up Settings to customize the pop-up. Then Settings. Here you can set the animation you like. Choose the event. I chose the page scrolled. Toggle the Loading with Ajax option to Yes. Force Loading also Yes. Click the next Display Settings, then Display Conditions. Here you can choose where you would like to display your pop-up. Click Add Condition. As you can see, it works for entire site or singular or archive. I prefer to show this discount pop-up for the entire site. Click Save to apply the conditions. Click Update once you are done with adjusting your pop-up. Your pop-up is ready to be shown on the website. Let's have a look how it works. Here it is. It's pretty simple to do, isn't it? See ya! Thanks for watching! I hope you guys stay subscribed! If you are not subscribed yet, feel free to do this right now! Papa! -pa.